I apologise if I'm off centre. Blaze apparently wants to be in this video. Oh, hello. Um, where are you actually going? <laughs> Could you just pop your head back up there, please? Thank. No? Okay. <laughs> I guess you're being in the intro. Look up from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Hey guys, so for today's video I thought I would do a first impressions video. It's been kind of a while since I've done one of these. I think the last first impressions I did was my Kylie Cosmetics first impressions back in December, I think it was. And that was the first impressions of a few items from the holiday collection. So yeah, it's been quite a while since I've done a first impressions. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a first impressions of the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler palette. So this actually just came today, probably about three hours ago actually, this arrived. I'm gonna be honest, I have looked at it just to make sure that obviously nothing had broken in transit, but I haven't fully looked at the shades. So I'm gonna be going over my thoughts on the packaging, the shades, what shades stand out to me at first kind of glance of the palette. I'm gonna swatch them and then I think I'm gonna do maybe two looks. I'm thinking of doing a more neutral kind of look and a bolder kind of look, just to kind of test out a good variety of shades. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, so this is just the outer packaging. I apologize for the sun lines. I've shut the blinds slightly, but obviously I still need some light to film. So I do apologize if you can't see that perfectly, but this is the outer packaging. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see it better. But as you can see, it just has kind of Maddie's eyes on it in like a kaleidoscope effect. And of course, she's wearing shades from the palette. And then it just has Maddie Ziegler, the Imagination palette across here, because obviously I forgot to mention before, but the Imagination palette is the name of this palette. And then it just has like drawings and stuff kind of embossed into it, I wanna say. Like they kind of stand out a little bit, which is really nice. And then on the back, it just has a little message and a picture of Maddie. And it just says, hey Morphe babe, I've always loved playing with makeup and this palette is everything I imagined and more. I'm so excited to see the endless looks you create, Maddie. But yeah, so that is the outer packaging. I love this. I feel like it looks so different to anything I've really seen before. It's super pretty and I love that it has like that kaleidoscope kind of effect to it with like the rainbows and all the eyes all around it. So yeah, now if we actually open it up and slide out the palette itself, so, this is what the palette looks like. It just has the same kind of design. Again, the lettering and stuff is embossed. I really love this. I feel like it's so different to anything in my makeup collection. So yeah, if we actually open it up, I'm so excited. Just slip out the little protective cover. So, this is what the palette itself looks like. As you can see, it has a nice variety of neutrals and bolder shades. It also has a nice variety of shimmers and mattes, etc. And yeah, I am crazy excited to try this. And then as you can probably see, it has, on the like matte shades, it has Maddie's drawings. So I'm gonna turn the palette around so that you can see that properly. Okay, so like I said, as you can see, it's got like some of Maddie's drawings in some of the shades, which I feel is a really nice personal touch for Maddie. So yeah, that is what the palette looks like. So shades that are standing out to me the most, I really like, this one right here, which is Maddie Girl. I'm loving this one here, which is Crushed. I feel like that is so my kind of shade. And I feel like they would maybe pair together really nicely. I really like Five here. It's a really pretty blue. I'm thinking I might try that today. I love this one here as well, which is She Insists. Mint looks like a really nice colour as well. For like, if you want to add a pop of colour to a look. Um... Angel looks like a really nice shimmer shade. If I remember right, I think this is the one Maddie described as a duochrome shade. So it shows up differently in different light, which I think is really cool. Um, I love this one here. What's that one? Godfather. I really love that one. It's like a really nice shimmery copper kind of shade. I mean, honestly, I'm in love with the whole palette right now. I'm already obsessed. But I feel like these kind of shades to the moon and back, Godfather, like I feel like they'd be my autumn winter kind of Christmas shades because they're nice gold copper kind of colours. I'm loving all of the bolder shades as well. 
But yeah, so I guess let's just get into trying this palette, shall we? So yeah, I'm going to swatch this now and kind of start seeing what shades I think are going to go together for the two looks I have planned. I did plan on recreating a look that Maddie did in one of her makeup videos using this palette. But I think I'm going to do that as a separate video. If I have time at the end and I feel like this video isn't too long, I might add it in. But I think I'm going to do that as a completely separate video, like a recreating a Maddie Ziegler eye makeup look video. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to swatch these and I'll probably put a clip on screen for you guys somewhere around now so that you can see like a better clip of the swatches. Okay, so I've not even swatched Angel, the duochrome shade yet, but I don't know if you can see that. It's like showing up different shades already. Like it's showing up a slightly like white creamy kind of colour, a pink colour, like a purple hue. I'm already obsessed. I definitely need to try that shade. It swatches so nicely as well. Okay, I'm going to have to scoot right over here for this. But swatches are done. As you can see, I did have to go pretty much all the way up my arm because there are so many shades. But as you can see, there is a huge variety of shades. I feel like there's a shade here for everybody, honestly. So I'm going to try and kind of go down my arm and tell you which shade is which. So I'm going to scoot in a bit closer. So here, the first shade, I don't know if you can see that, we have Butterfly Fantasy, which is kind of like... A base shade slash kind of I guess brow bone highlight shade it's just like a nice cream I guess I'm terrible at describing shades so if you want proper if you want proper shade descriptions honestly I would go read them off your website then we have Maddie girl which is this really nice pink then we have m3 this is to the moon this is and back I love these two they are so my kind of shades then we have Godmum right here which again is a really pretty shade that I would wear on its own. Then we have Crushed here, which reminds me a lot of a Kylie shade I've used and loved a lot. So I definitely want to try that, I think. But obviously I'm not sure what look I'm going to try yet. Then we have Angel here, which I'll scoot in a bit closer for. This, I feel like is kind of sheer on my arm, but it gives a really nice reflex. So Angel is the one that is a duochrome, so it shows up different in different light, which I think is so cool. Then we have Latte, Kenny, Dancing Queen, which really intrigues me. It's a really bold pink shimmer. Then we have Like Butter. This one did take a little bit of building with the swatches. This one didn't swatch as well as the rest, but it still comes out as like a really nice neon kind of colour. Then we have Five... She insists and min these again are more of the bolder shades. I'm so excited to try these then we have Godfather Which is again one of my kind of go-to kind of shades, which is like a nice gold Then we have ASAP, which is like a shimmery dark brown. Then we have go home Posse, which I think is a shimmery purple and then finally we have Pantera Pantera I'm not really sure how to say it, which is just like a matte black which honestly I feel like every palette needs a matte black because sometimes I like to use black eyeshadow if I want kind of like a softer eyeliner so yeah those are all of the swatches I am obsessed with all of these shades honestly I don't know how I'm going to pick which ones I'm going to use now I'm going to scooch my way back into shot <laughs> okay so I feel like this one which is Dancing Queen and this one right here, which is She Insists. I feel like they would go really nicely together So I'm not sure if I want to try those because I do want to try this blue as well, but I also love mint So I'm really not sure what I want to do, but yeah, I also really love this one as well, which is crushed I really want to try that There are so many shades. I want to try in this palette already honestly just based off of these swatches I really don't know how I'm gonna pick but as far as pairing these up. I feel like Godmum and Crushed would make a really nice look. Dancing Queen and She Insists I feel like would go really well together. And I feel like the more gold shades here and here which are Godfather and 
to the moon. I feel like they would go maybe with this nice brown, which is M3. Or with this one here, which is Latte. Or maybe even with this one, which is ASAP, which would maybe go as well, even though it's a shimmer. The black I feel like I'm most likely to use as like a soft liner, so maybe we'll try that, maybe not. But yeah, I feel like there's like an endless amount of combinations here, honestly. So, I'm going to wipe this off my arm, because obviously I don't want to look like this for the whole video. <laughs> and then we're going to get into the first look. And I feel like what I'm going to do is just kind of wing it like I normally do. And just kind of go with whatever I feel at the time. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get into the first look. I think I'm going to start with the neutral look, as I feel like that's going to be one of the easier looks for me to create. I'm not really sure. Honestly, I feel like I have more ideas for the bolder look than the neutral look at this point. One thing I did forget to mention though about the swatches is the shades all seem to swatch so creamy and so buttery. Obviously, the shimmer and kind of glittery shades do feel a bit different. They've got glitter in them, um, so they're going to feel a little less creamy. But as far as the matte shades and everything, they feel so creamy and so buttery and they genuinely just apply so well when swatching. Aside from obviously like butter, the yellow shade that took a little bit of one building. But I feel like you can never go wrong with a buildable shade. So anyway, we're going to now start on the neutral look. Okay. I feel like I want to incorporate Maddie Girl. I know I definitely want to use Angel as an inner corner highlight at some point throughout this video. Just because I love the fact that it's duochrome and shows up different in different light. I feel like that's so cool. So I kind of want to see how it goes with the look. See, I was going to pair Maddie Girl and Crushed, but I feel like that's somewhat of a more bold look. It's like somewhere in between neutral and bold. So, I don't know that I want to do that. Okay, I'm just going to swatch M3 and Latte again. The two main brown shades. Okay, so I'm thinking M3 would make a really nice transition shade, and this would make a really nice outer corner and crease shade. Maybe with... Yeah, I think I'm going to go M3 as, like, a transition shade. Although I'm not sure that that shade needs one. Yeah, I don't think that shade needs a transition shade, really. So I'm going to go with Latte and Godmum for the neutral look. So I'm just going to take my Kylie Cosmetics Medium Angle Blending Brush. And I'm just going to dip into Latte right here. And just pop that in my crease and my outer corner. Okay, already this is a really beautiful shade. I feel like I could do, like, one of my favourite looks where I just have, like, a bit of brown eyeshadow in the crease in the outer corner and a black winged liner with this shadow. Like, I feel like that would work really well with this shadow. I've gone a little bit high on my crease, but I'm going to fix that at the end, so it's fine. So far, it's... I'm just going to turn to this window because there's more light. So far, it is blending beautifully, and I'm really loving this shade. It's very buildable as well, which I love in eyeshadows. I really don't like when you put an eyeshadow on and it's just like heavy pigment. But at the same time, it is really pigmented. Okay, so now I'm just going to put that on the other side as well. Did forget to tap my brush off the first time, but it still wasn't too heavy. But it's also still really pigmented, if that makes sense. And it's blending beautifully. I already feel like this is going to become a go-to shade for me. Just building it up. Blending it in. A bit more in the crease. Okay, again, I've accidentally gone a little bit high on the crease, but I'm going to fix that with a different shade at the end. Just give it kind of one final blend. I'm trying not to block my face with the palette because I have a really bad habit of blocking my face like this and then you just can't see what I'm doing at all. Okay, Latte is done. 
I'm hoping you can see that well enough with me having one of the blinds shut, but I absolutely love this shade. I feel like it looks so nice. It's so pigmented, but also really buildable, if that makes sense. And I would honestly just wear this look as it is right now. Like, I would literally just wear this on its own like this. And like I said, I would wear this with just like a black winged liner as well, as that's one of kind of my favourite looks to do. But yeah, I'm loving that. I feel like that's definitely going to become one of my go-to shades because I feel like it'll go with an array of shades out of this palette. So, now I'm taking Godmum, which is this shade right here. I don't know that the camera is really doing it justice. I do apologise. I think I'm just going to use my finger for that shade. I feel like with a shimmer or like a heavy glitter shade, you can never go wrong with just using your finger. So I'm just going to dip my finger straight into there. Again, it feels nice and creamy, which I really love. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner section of my lid. I love this shade. I would wear this shade probably literally on its own. It is stunning. I feel like it would double up as a really nice highlight shade as well. Yeah, it's going on really well. Even with my finger, I feel like it's blending nicely. It's going on super creamy, super like buttery. I am already obsessed with this look. Yeah, I'm already obsessed with this look. So, hopefully you guys can see it well enough, but that is what it looks like with Godmum on top. So now I'm just gonna go back in with Latte and just kind of blend out the edges of that. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I am well and truly obsessed. And then I'm just gonna go back over the front kind of bit of Godmum a little bit, just to add a bit of pigment back in. Yep, yeah, I'm well and truly obsessed with this look already. I feel like it's a very neutral look. I feel like there were other looks I could have gone for in this palette. Honestly, I'm tempted to just like test out so many more looks, but I don't want this video to be crazy long, but I'm loving that look. So now I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Medium Angle Blending Brush once again. And I feel like I want to take the shade Butterfly Fantasy right here, which has a little butterfly pressed in it, which I think is so cute. And I think I'm just going to use that as kind of a brow highlight slash cleanup shade. Because I did go a little bit high on my crease. Yeah, that's softening it and cleaning it up really nicely. And it makes a really nice kind of matte brow highlight as well. Yeah, I am so obsessed with this look already. I feel like it's a very neutral look compared to what I could have gone with. But I feel like this would be an everyday look for me. So I'm going to go off camera and pop on some mascara. And then I'll be back to show you guys kind of the finished look pulled together with mascara. Okay, so this is the eye makeup with mascara. I am so obsessed. But I did just realise while I was doing my mascara that I forgot enough on a highlight. So I'm going to be taking my Kylie Cosmetics small eyeshadow brush. As this brush is really good for getting in like the small part of the inner corner. And I think I'm going to take Angel right here. Like I said before, this is described as a duochrome shade. So depending on what light you're in, it really depends how this shows up. So I'm going to dip into that. Okay, I feel like it's not going on the best with the brush. Yeah, I'm just going to use my finger. It's so much easier for these kind of shades. Again, it's really creamy. I'm loving how creamy these shades are. Like, I can't get over how creamy they feel. I 
inner corner highlight done. It hasn't gone as well on this side, but my inner corner highlight honestly never goes as well on one side as the other. It always goes better on one side. But I don't know if you can see that, but it like, it's giving off a really nice peachy pink vibe. I'm really loving it. Okay, so that is the neutral look finished. I am so obsessed. I love the combination of latte and godmum. The light brown to kind of light shimmer. I don't really know how to explain it. What kind of shade would that be? I feel like it's kind of a silvery pink. I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, I'm loving the combination of latte and godmum. It makes a really nice natural look, I feel like. Like, I would wear this on the daily. And then Angel on the inner corner is just, I feel like it just really pulls it together with that kind of pink reflect. But yeah, so I'm really happy with how the first look turned out. Like I said, this would be a go-to daily look for me. And I feel like when I start wearing makeup more again, this will definitely be the look I go to the most. As it's just so easy and so simple. And yeah, it looks so pretty. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go take this eye makeup off and kind of touch up my concealer probably around my eyes and everything to get ready for the next bolder look, which I am so excited for. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, future me just jumping in here to let you guys know that I have decided to split this video into two parts. So this is going to be the end of part one and part two will pick up kind of where this video left off with the bolder eye makeup look and then my final thoughts and first impressions so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think of the palette so far based off of the swatches and the neutral look that i've created don't forget to subscribe right over here and turn on post notifications so you're one of the first to see when part two to this video goes up and if you're new around here or you'd just like to check out more videos, there will be two videos or a video and a playlist just over here for you to pick from. So be sure to click one of those. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon for part two. Bye guys!